Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be going back to the year 1907, uh, just a bit before the Taisho era begins, and we're going to be looking at a very simple jujitsu handbook that offers self defense tips. And at the same time, we're going to be comparing it with Hicks and Gracie's tutorial of self defense. All will be in the description below. And this is not just to show that, hey, look, they've existed before or whatever it may be, but to show that it's important to appreciate these techniques and preserve them so they learn them. And fortunately for us, they kept them and they've filmed them in good quality in today's age. So these are very vital. You're going to see for any type of group in the population, kids, women, etc. And the first one is a choke next to a wall. It's a very common thing. You see it, unfortunately, in homes. You see it in schools. You see it in the walls of alleyways or whatever it may be. And here you see you have one hand on the throat and the other one is on the belt. And you're going to see exactly why one hand is on the belt. Uh, you can have two-handed chokes or here one. But as you see, pushing against the hand from the inside is crucial and uh, the other one is uh, on the waist because rotating the waist is very powerful and you see here as you can see Hickson is rotating his waist to strike so it's all about exploring the gap and that gap is between your thumb and the rest of the fingers and from there your, gra your grip is at its weakest and from there you can uh, fully liberate yourself so what he does is he pushes against the hand from the inside you know at, towards the gap and rotating his waist in order to have as much momentum following uh, the choke break uh, in order to strike the head with the elbow uh, which explains why they also grabbed the uh, belt which minimizes the elbow strike or nullifies it uh, the next one is wrist uh, grip breaks. Uh, they're also very important, also very vital, and you see it everywhere, especially women are kidnapping. The first thing they do is grab her by the wrist and try to pull her uh, towards them. So it's all about exploring the gap. Like I said, here you see the first one is they rotate inward towards the gap and upward to liberate. The next one is two hands on one and they grab the fist pull it towards them uh, through the gap of the uh, both hands and from there you can liberate it so this might seem a very tough grip to break and get out of but with good technique you can now uh, if you have some strength use it on top of leverage on top of good technique and from there you would be good but always start with technique uh, because it's the fundamental and the uh, basics are all very much the same but just applies differently depending on the position of your uh, of the aggressor's hand so here you see Hickson demonstrating all that we just saw in different directions so uh, the first one is going to be your basic uh, wrist grip break and uh, it's really about rotating towards the uh, gap so this is very common a lot of people would say that nobody's gonna just come in and grab a lot of people would grab you and intimidate you verbally uh, try to frighten you not necessarily looking to hit you but this one is very important wrist grips I've seen them for as long as I remember and uh, really getting out of them is the first response and then backing up and maintaining distance and showing that you are willing to fight and i'm not to be intimidated that's very important because nobody's gonna fight someone who is uh gonna fight back especially bullies and if they do you already always maintain distance and learning jujitsu and judo is crucial kids especially here you see the double uh, grips on one hand and he pulls it towards him 
uh, notice that the uh, uh, the exploration of the gap or exploiting the gap is important the, regardless of the direction whether it's upward or downward depending how they gripped so you have to assess their grip and from there you see where the gap is the next one is your technical stand up and it's one of the bread and the butter for Gracie Jiu Jitsu self-defense and it's a very important position to learn or a very important trick to learn because some people will look to ambush you you are sitting down maybe something happened earlier they're coming to get you and you are, they find you sitting down and they find that it's the best time to attack or the best time to intimidate you is come up from above you really a psychological attack before it is physical and from there you have one hand that's uh, pushing the ground and one foot that's pushing the ground so diagonal and the others are the hand that's protecting your face and one leg to kick and it's also very important to rotate sideways because they don't have full access to your body and also that's very important until you get up and maintain your distance so um, technical stand up is very um, crucial and also very vital um, because from these position uh, it's very easy to get knocked out or even killed and Hickson describes this position sometimes saying that you can be laying on a beach you know very Brazilian context and someone comes up to you and uh, really ambushes you and attacks you not everyone fights with honor and pride a lot of people will just try to surprise you unfortunately and uh, assault you that's basically what it is so this tech this position the technical stand-up is a very important thing to learn so uh, you can do it from both ways a lot of times we people uh, in the on the mats we tend to uh, warm up with it we take this position and then we go all the way to the mat uh, doing right versus left and here you see the importance of that hand in the front because it is a shield until you get up you put your leg back and now you have two legs standing up you have one arm defending and from there now you are upright maintaining composure you have base and you're ready to defend so if you have anything to add please let me know down below check all the links in the description below um, if you want to learn more. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.